Yo, yo, yo. CPA Strength here, back again with his six month straight Saturday mukbang. Mukbang, mukbang, yeah, it's my 26 straight mukbang. This is, we're, what are we doing? We're eating a protein, we're drinking a protein shake today. Two scoops of protein, it's about 400 calories. 60 grams of protein, and then we have two frozen bananas in here. I freeze the bananas. I did have another mukbang that I recorded this morning, and I was like, you know what? That food is not even appealing. Like, it just, it was a bad mukbang. I kind of, I complained about a couple things, which is weird, because I've been in a good mood. Um, Sorry about that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really like that mukbang. <clears throat> My computer drive was filled up and it was stressing me out and blah, blah, blah. So I just said, you know what? We're going to scrap that mukbang. We're going to empty out the whole computer hard drive. And then we're going to upload the mukbang of me having protein shake. And this is what I've been... So have a protein shake with me, whatever, whatever you're going to eat, have a little eating with me. Um, let's see, so yeah, this is my 26 mukbang, 6 months. I mean, my first one was a Burger King, and then a Wendy's, and I did a McDonald's, and a Pollo, and a Dunkin' Donuts, and I've done a... Well, 26 different ones, but probably like 15 places. I don't know. So this one's exactly the same, completely different. Um, just another crazy week for me. You know, this is my year of positivity. I'm trying to be just positive about everything. And guess what? A lot of things are falling in my lap. So just stay tuned, I'll showcase them on the channel, 2018 is going to be a crazy year for CPA Strength, my YouTube channel, my life, it's going to, I'm going to document all the stuff that I do on this YouTube channel, so I hope, I hope you guys stay with me. But yeah, I'm living a positive life right now, and I'm living a good life. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting, a, I'm getting, a, I'm getting up every morning. I'm exercising. I'm just trying to do positive things. Try to help people. And yeah, a lot of opportunities are coming my way right now, and I'm just. I cannot believe this is my life. I really can't. Anyways, this is not going to be your average mukbang. I don't know how many people stayed this long, but like we're going to have a definite story. This is just some housekeeping. It's going to be, I wanted to talk about uh, how I got started in the gym, how long I've been lifting, uh, just a, a gym video, how I got started and... A kind of correlation that I made today, so we're gonna do that. But I just left, I just left the gym uh, with Ty Ty Sticks, Ty Flex, Ty Bricks, Ty Bo. No, he doesn't go by Ty Bo. That's Sean Bo Wayne. Cody, you're an idiot. You like Regina did my hair? Yeah, Regina and Cody still around. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh. Kevin Broussard from Channel 7 News was there on the scene, so we're going to go to that, and then we're going to come back, and I'm going to talk about my lifting history while I sip, while I sip on a little protein shake, a little sip, sip, sippy, and your boy has been tracking macros and is down to 254 pounds, so he's got 14 more pounds to go. I'm going to crush that goal. Mmm. This is delicious. Cody, roll that footage of Kevin Broussard. Yeah, the Kevin Broussard. 
Here with Ty Bricks, Ty Flex. Another workout with CPA strength. Ty Sticks. We didn't put in a video on today because we didn't want all your haters to hate. <laughs> Make Don't hate. For them Eagles, hey, baby. I got. I gotta ask. Uh, this is Kevin Broussard, Channel Channel Seven News, live here. Uh, we want to know about the steroid allegations that you're getting all over the internet. Is it is it a, a positive or false or? Haters gonna hate. Fake nat all natural, not like Cali Muscle. Uh, fake fake not natty, like, fake natty. Real natty, not real like, natty. Not like Cali Muscle. <laughs> uh, do you want to do you want to address the haters that that uh? That you you be getting hate on on videos you're not even anymore. Yeah. You're making it. You want to address the haters? Haters gonna hate. <laughs> haters gonna hate because they know making gains. What do you got to say about uh, uh, Jack number one stunner from Cleveland? What about what, what about the Browns? You're lucky you're in Cleveland. <laughs> if, if you were down here, you guys be 0 and 17 because I put you in a stunner. <laughs> oh, all right, all right. This is, uh, this is it. Tell uh, pr oh predictions oh. on the Super Bowl. Predictions on the Super Bowl. 2420 birds. Nick okay, E A G L E S. Do it for Messi. Do it for Messi. Do it for Messi. Nick all Foles, right. baby. We're going to do the Nick Foles dance all next Sunday. <laughs> hey, hey, man. Hey, uh, I love Jack number one stunner. I, um, I, it's all, it's all love. We love the hate. We love, we love the love. We love the hate. We love it all. <laughs> it's just, I just my life's amazing. I just love to fuck around and joke around and so correlation I made mm, a correlation that I made was that whenever I've been exercising or lifting weights, my life's been a lot better than when it wasn't when I wasn't lifting weights. So let me go. I saw when I was about maybe like 10 or something, like pretty young, or they were like second, third grade. I was living at my grandparents' house. My uncle Steve, rest in peace, Steve, he had, uh, he had AIDS. And he died when I was like in high school or something. So rest in peace, Uncle Steve. I really loved Uncle Steve a lot. He was the only one in my family who would stick up for me when everyone else was talking trash on me. So mm. he had some. He had those concrete weights that was like a like an Allen key thing, and that you would loosen the collar off. And then take the the, con the the little concrete weight out. And then you'd put the new one on, and it was old concrete weights. I guess we're talking, you know, 1984, 1985, mid 80s weights. So, um, yeah. So they were like in a milk crate over, you know, in his in his room, or yeah, and I or in like the living room or something he had in a milk crate these weights and then i was like i was just curious what are those what are those oh those are weights wow really so i started i went over there and and started like just messing around and then i'm not sure who it was someone said oh no don't touch those don't touch those you'll hurt yourself don't touch those i'm like what yeah, you're not allowed to touch those. Don't touch those. You'll hurt yourself. You're not supposed to. So I was like, oh, something I'm not supposed to do. So right there, I loved the weights, and I would, um, that's all I wanted was a weight set. So I maybe acquired a little something here and there, like a little teeny piece, but I remember in, Seventh grade, I had a weight set in my room. I got a weight set. I begged for a weight set. Begged for a weight set. So I had a uh, a weight set that my dad got me. And I had no idea what I was doing. I, I think I might have seen a book or something. I had no idea. I think it was, of course, benching every night. 
you know, I don't know as many reps as I could. I got pinned in the room a couple times with the bench. Ah! I remember listening to Two Live Crew in there. I remember working out between 10 and 11 p.m. and like in my in middle school, seventh and eighth grade. Every night, every night I'd be working out in there. And um, yeah, I was like, why am I still getting picked on? Like, I don't know, I wasn't really doing that great or I guess it wasn't that effective because I was still fat. I always thought I was fat. <laughs> I was fat. I am fat now. <laughs> so, um, but I, I was always a very angry person, and I mean, I'll ki I've kicked so many holes and walls and doors and broken car car doors and just everything. Um, I remember. Getting so mad, uh, you know, about 10, 10 o'clock at night, the Channel 7 News would come on at 10, and then the other channels would come on at 11, so I was watching that, and I was so mad, so mad, and so I went in there, and I started benching, and I, I wait that I did for, you know, five or eight times, I did for like 20, and I was just like, whoa. Like it was just crazy because of the uh, the intensity I had. Um, starting, I was seventh and eighth grade. Starting freshman year, I went to the Y. I started lifting. That was the first time I started lifting like with real weights. Luckily, me and my friend uh, Shine Dog, Shine Dog, Dirty G who's been in a couple of the videos, he lives in Tampa, I visit in Tampa. Oh, we did a fucking uh, two podcasts with Shine Dog. Y'all know Shine Dog. He was my first real lifting partner. Yo, not real, but he was my first lifting partner. <laughs> we used to go to the YMCA. We had a coach called Mike Dow Ripple. He worked there, he said, he said, hey, I'm undefeated list. So what? He goes, yeah, I never won. I was on, <laughs> so. He had us on a five by five split, bless his heart, squat bench, we didn't really do deadlifts back then. So I lifted freshman year, sophomore year, junior year of high school. Broke my wrist senior year, moved to Maine senior year, so I didn't really lift that much my senior year. But I was still kind of active, and then uh, excuse me, when it was enrolled in Florida State for a little bit, so they had a place there called the Leech Center, which is the activity center. So I'd go there and lift a little bit, like when I was doing good at the school. Didn't really lift anymore until I found myself when I was 25, living in Eugene, Oregon. Oh man, the battery is gonna go off. I don't think I brought a new battery. So this is crazy, I'm sorry about that. So I was living in Eugene, Oregon when I was 25. This thing shuts off, I'm sorry, because my other battery's at my office and I gotta get this mukbang up. God. Let's see, so I worked out for a year when I was 25, and that was a good year. Didn't work out, you know, 21 to 24, not the best years, I guess, of my life. Okay years. Definitely from 25 to 35, I didn't really lift, and those were not that great of years for, for me. I guess they were, but uh, from 35 to 40 now, I've been lifting or about that, and whenever... Whenever I fit exercise or lift it into my regimen, my days just go a lot better. My life goes a lot better. It's a good setup for me. So I've been lifting on and off since I was, you know, I got my first really weight set in the seventh grade. I remember 
So I've been lifting on and on since I've been in seventh grade. What are you, uh, four, 13, I guess? So I've been lifting, I was 13. I did take a 10 year break from 25 to 35 from lifting and that was just too bad. That's what I got for like 315. So it's good. Uh, I've been fat and now I'm semi juicy. I guess I got vein coming. I got some vascularity. So I'm ho ready. I'm not show ready, but ho ready. I'm sorry, ladies. That's a Chris Jones kind of thing. Curls for the girls. Uh, this is going to shut off soon, and I didn't really want to do an abrupt shut off for my 26 mukbang. So let me finish this protein shake up. And yeah, so this will be a shorter. A shorter mukbang. We're still going to do the daily videos. All the new viewers that have subscribed. Basically from the secret video. Because uh, I've looked at my analytics. That's why everyone subscribes the channel. Pretty much. But anyways. Y'all have a great weekend. The rest of the day. You know what? Y'all have a great rest of your lives, man. Come on. Live a positive life. Be positive. Live right. Get a good night's sleep. Get some exercise. And I came to the conclusion that everything is going to be just fine. Anyways, until tomorrow, y'all have a great day. Deuces.